All right, welcome to the year 2024 at the end of the 2023 season, which has not even happened yet. We are in the offseason, and if you're going to see, he's not going to be top ranked because I just added him, but we are here for the Cedric Lewis my career yes sir he is here in the draft uh there's gonna be no gameplay this episode nothing this is just gonna be just him getting drafted figuring out what the team's gonna look like free agency all that fun stuff but we have the draft class in we are going to simulate to the draft lottery actually league meetings to make sure they don't change anything uh they wanted to get rid of the gold tending um gold tending rule yeah not gonna happen draft lottery time let's see who will have one of the top picks. The Denver Nuggets did not make the playoffs. They get the 14th pick in the NBA draft. The Blazers barely missed out. They end up falling down to 13. And I might trade Damian Lillard in this. I don't know yet. But I'm thinking about it. The Thunder get number 12 via the Clippers. So two playoff teams end up not making the playoffs in the Thunder and the Nuggets. And add the Nets to that list as the Rockets get their pick the Detroit Pistons are going to pick at number 10 eighth straight year in the lottery I think that I said that was the most the Raptors at number nine and they are going to fall I mean go up I mean the two I believe top three and the Jazz also jump up the Magic fall down the Thunder at number seven let's see if anything changes nope so I believe that means the Jazz and the Raptors jumped up to top three, if I'm not mistaken. And the Timberwolves at number six. They are going to take number six. So Jazz or Raptors is where um, Cedric could possibly go. The Spurs went Banyama. And the Spurs move up. That leaves the Raptors, the Jazz, and the Spurs in the top three. We do not want to go. Oh, no. We can't go back to the Hornets. Raptors get number four. We can't go back to the Hornets. We can't. We were on the Hornets last season. Please. Hornets get number three. We might end up back on the Hornets. If we end up back on the Hornets, I'll trade myself. Um, the Spurs at number two. The Spurs are gonna get the number two overall pick, which means the or I mean the Indiana Pacers are gonna end up with the Oh wait, no, I meant the the Jazz. Never mind. The Jazz for the first time in franchise history are gonna end up with the first overall pick. Jazz, Spurs, Hornets, Raptors, Wizards. I guarantee one of those five teams will be picking up Cedric Lewis. Let's go to the draft combine. Let's see. Since I added Cedric Lewis later on. Uh, he's ranked the last prospect because that's the person I replaced. So let's see. Uh, standing. Um, I don't see any. What is this? Moving. I don't see anything. Moving college. I'm my honest with you. I don't, I don't see Cedric anywhere. Did he even participate? Standing NBA three pointer. Is it, okay, maybe Cedric wasn't even a part of the combine. Pre draft workouts. Did Cedric move up? Did he even. Oh, wait, no. This wants me to pick it. I don't want to pick it. I do not want to pick it. That's all whoever the Miami Heat want to do. Let's see. Before we enter the draft, I don't think Cedric moved up. He did. He moved up to number one overall. Cedric Lewis might be going to the Utah Jazz. They don't have a shooting guard, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check out their roster because this could be where he goes. They were 33 and 49. Jordan Clarkson is their starting shooting guard. So it would make sense to add... Lewis to this team. Uh, Collins Sexton is that point guard. They still got market in. Con John Collins had a bad year. Walker Kessler had a great year. This could be the team. This could be the team. And then who else um, was on the board? The mock drafts are saying Buzelli's number one, DJ Wagner number two, and C Cedric number three. I can't go to the Raptors. I will not go to the Raptors. I mean the Hornets. I mean the Hornets. Um, 2K has me at number one. Um, also NBA.com also has Cedric at number one. So, so the sporting news is the only people that have Cedric at number three. We could be going to the Spurs possibly. We already know what that Spurs team looks like as Victor Wembanyama obviously on it. They were the second worst team in the league. Uh, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson. Did Victor get hurt? Yeah, Wembanyama got hurt. Interesting. Um, I don't know if it's going to show me the injury. Um, showers after every fart. I guess that's why he's hurt. Uh, he's just sprained his finger. That's why he's hurt. Um, there's the Spurs. Number three was the Hornets. We obviously don't want to go there. And then the Raptors could be an interesting team. I feel like Cedric would probably be playing the point guard, to be honest, on this team with OG Ananobi, 
playing the two. So that is interesting. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the NBA draft. I'm going to put the Miami Heat on. Actually, I don't even need to put them on auto because they have a late pick. I can just sim to the end. NBA draft time with the first overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft. The Utah Jazz select Cedric Lewis from Oklahoma. Lewis is going to join Laurie Marketing and Walker Kessler in Utah. Looking to bring the Jazz back to the playoffs since they traded Donovan Mitchell. Number one overall, Cedric Lewis. Lightning quick, blazing fast, a true burner. Those are all phrases I would use to describe just how quick of a player Cedric Lewis is out there on the court. Combined with this hustle, the Jazz fans are going to love this kid. We'll see how we do with Utah. Number two overall, the Spurs are going to select Isaiah Collier. That is a good pick for them. They do need a point guard. Third overall pick, the Charlotte Hornets are going to select Matt Buzelli's small forward 6'11 from... No, he's not from high school. He's from... I don't know where he's from, to be honest with you. Um, I might move him to power forward because... Or I might move... I don't know. Would, would I move... Um, who do they draft? How am I already forgetting who they drafted last? Brandon Miller to shooting guard? I don't know. We'll see. Um, last year, he was considered a shooting guard. Justin Edwards, shooting guard, goes to the Raptors. Did he even draft a point guard? Really? That's very, very interesting. How, okay, maybe they're moving on. Ron Holland goes number five to Washington. Very good pickup from them. Number seven, the Timberwolves are going to trade their pick. I mean, number six. For Fred Van Vliet, Van Vliet lasted only one year in Houston and get shipped off to Minnesota. And for number six, Shake Milton, and they're trading Van Vliet at number 11. That's not a terrible trade for Minnesota, to be honest. Mike Conley's old. Van Vliet helps him a lot, and they only move down five spots. That's, his contract sucks, but that's not a bad trade. And the Rockets are going to select Alexander Saar, center. Not a great pick for them. He's from France. He ain't no Victor Wembanyama. The Thunder going to select Stefan Cassell, small forward from Connecticut with the seventh overall pick. The Orlando Magic are going to select another guard in DJ Wagner with the eighth overall pick. The Indiana Pacers, number nine, are going to select Isaac Amundsen. I probably said that wrong. Power forward from Spain. Number 10, Pistons are going to select Mackenzie Mbako. I said that so wrong. Small forward. Once again, interesting pick. And the Timberwolves, Bronny James, falls down to 11. So the Timberwolves get Fred Van Vliet and Bronny James all in the same draft while giving up number six, which turned out to be a center. That's probably going to be a 72 overall. And Shake Milton. What? That's amazing. That's actually, I don't know what Bronny James' is, um, overall is. But when you have Fred Van Vliet, by the end of his contract, Bronny James should be a solid enough player to start. That's really good to have him next to Anthony Edwards. That's going to be very, very nice. The 12th overall pick, the OKC Thunder. I'm going to select Aaron Bradshaw Center from Kentucky. Um, they have Chet Holmgren, so I guess they're going to use him more as a backup. The Blazers to the 13th overall pick select Ades Mara from Spain. So they're probably going to move on from Yusuf Nurkic. And with the 14th overall pick at the end of the lottery... The Nuggets are going to get Zachary, I'm not going to say his last name, but he's he's a fairly high-touted prospect. That's solid for them. Sim to the end, Cedric Lewis, 81 overall at the age of 20, number one overall pick heading to Utah. Isaiah Kali, 77. Matt Buzelli's a 78. Ron Holland, a 78. Wizards got a pretty good pick. Stefan Cassell is a 78. Interesting. Let's see, Bronny James, 75 overall. That's really solid. That is really, really solid. Rookie signings. That's the Miami Heat. We got to switch ourselves over to the um, Utah Jazz and their garbage. That's the only problem playing with the Jazz. They have bad jerseys. <laughs> they have really bad uniforms. So let's take a look at Cedric Lewis and his new threads. The white uniforms, these uniforms are solid. These uniforms aren't bad, but it's the it's the yellow ones that are really bad. These are horrific, dude. These highlighter jerseys. But this is Cedric Lewis in his new uniforms rocking with his new team. It's going to be sick. The Lamellos fit very well with this team. And coming into the season, he is tied with Jordan Clarkson for the top-rated player. Um, I don't know how this team's going to work. I'm probably going to move um, Oche Agbaji to the small forward so we can back up um, Larry Marketing. 
and then point guard Traylon Horton Tucker Devontae Graham and Colin Sexton not much playmaking at all like I'm going to be doing most playmaking now of course I am going to put everything on auto once I figure out where to do that at so the CPU can do whatever they want just like this was my career but I am allowed just like my career three trades a season and three free agency offers so if I offer a contract to someone and they decline I'm not allowed to offer that same guy or else it would count as another um use of a contract so if I offer one guy a contract three times that's it. That's the only guy I can offer a contract to. And the rest will be on the uh, team to do. The team automation. We're going to put all this on auto. Uh, I'm not going to put the lineup on auto. I want to make the lineups because you can do that in my career. All this is going to be on auto. Uh, that That's all for you guys to do. I'm going to put all of this on auto. Untouchables target list. There you go. Team player options. They both accept. Obviously, you want to accept Oche and um, Walker Kessler. And we have some solid free agents. Um, they don't want to offer any of these guys qualifying fine by me. Kawhi Leonard is a free agent. He's getting, oh my God, if Kawhi goes to the Sixers, dude. Holy crap. I don't remember if I fixed their contracts and free agency. They look like they're pretty solid. Um, Like Malik Monk wanted 17 mil. That kind of makes sense. So, I mean, do we even have any money? Not really. We really don't. They're not bringing back Taylor Horton Tucker, who just had, well, I think he just won most improved, so... I might use one of my offers on Taylor Horton Tucker or not. I don't know. But yeah, this team has no money. All right. So you know what? We're going to actually have Jordan Clarkson run our backup point guard because I do want Keontae George to actually play for this team because in 2K, he ends up becoming really damn good. So I'm actually not going to make any signings for this team. I feel like they're fine as is. I might make a backup center signing. You, you see Drummond over here and it's kind of hard not to pick him. He, he Drummond in 2K is just absolutely insane i mean zach collins had a pretty solid season but i think i'm gonna i think we're gonna offer andre drummond a um three-year front-loaded four million dollar contract offer and he is gonna take it they're gonna reannounce the rights on taylor horton tucker i don't want them to do that and everyone inside Kawhi leonard ends up in the pistons jesus christ it's like 2k what was it 22 21 again where you always sign with the pistons um james harden goes back to the sixers that's pretty funny drew holiday goes to the lakers Oh, that's how, how, how is he on the Lakers? Did LeBron, oh, LeBron retired. I didn't override his retirement. Okay, well, LeBron's gone. <laughs> um, This is now Drew Holiday, Tobias Harris, Austin Reeves, and AD is still not a bad team, but LeBron's gone. I never overrid his retirement. That's fine, though. It's all fine. Um, DeMar DeRozan goes to the Pacers. Pascal returns, Maxi returns, Clay returns, Claxton returns. Jonas Valanciunas returns. Malik Monk replaces Kawhi Leonard on the Clippers. Um, OG Anobi goes to the Magic. Um, D'Angelo Russell goes to the Raptors. They actually have a point guard now. Paul George goes to the Spurs. He's actually hurt right now. He tore his Achilles. But the Spurs end up signing him to a big contract. Uh, Lonzo Ball re-signs. Uh, Russell Westbrook is back in Houston to replace Van Vliet. Tobias Harris, Markel Fultz. Uh, Dinwiddie's back in um, whatchamacallit back in Detroit so player progression we already know everyone signed no big deals looks like a Congo went back other than that doesn't look like any big deals player progression marketing goes up Walker Kessler goes up too and John Collins also goes up we have a solid solid team here not gonna lie <coughs> Jordan Clarkson drops you that kind of sucks but this team's got shooters I won't lie summer league I'm not gonna play summer league but I'm gonna go in there to get my thumbnail but that's gonna be it for me Leave a like, guys. Enjoy. Subscribe, if you guys. Are new and be sure to stay tuned for episode one of this my career. I'm kind of kind of do this on the same side as um the normal Gerald Johnson my career. So we'll flip flop hopefully. And I'm trying to finish up um the C.J. Lewis Madden career so I can switch to quarterback. Lots going on. So anyways, that's gonna be for me. GG.